happy Wednesday, everybody. Let me know when you're all in here. Ooh, well, looks like I'm live again. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. <whistles> do, 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 do. Waiting for you, baby. Jay, what's up, man? How are you today? How's your Wednesday treating you, dude? It's almost over. It's almost over. Another week done. Another week closer to being done with 2020. Hey, 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 that sounds like a great idea, I think. Boom, boom, ba -do, ba -do, boom, boom, boom. Eric, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful week as well. Hope everyone in the family's doing well. What? Jay, really? Are you a cop? Whoa, Jay, that's crazy. Stealing ATM. Wow. Oh, stealing demo? Okay. Wow, that's crazy, dude. We'll catch him. Damn thieves. Your mother should have taught you. Naughty, 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 you don't steal. It's horrible. It's horrible. Tilt that up. Hey, look. It looks better when I tilt it up. Security for a warehouse. Well, dude, I guess you could have some really exciting days and uh, maybe some really slow nights, slow days. <laughs> Everyone, give much love to Jay Taylor. He's doing security work. He's catching people stealing. He's doing his job. He's doing it well. So everyone, you know, give some mad props up to Jay, catching them thieves, trying to be scandalous. No, 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 no. We do scandalous things here at Coffin, but we're a publisher, so it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Who do we got all here today? Bingo, bango, boom. Carmen, wouldn't be a show without you. Thank you so very much for joining. Real quick, guys, a um, couple of announcements. Um, first of all, uh, for folks who watch this internationally, today is Veterans Day, and I would like to give a big thank you to all the vets um, here and abroad that are also serving, and those who served previously. So thank you very much, guys. Um, we really appreciate you, and we wouldn't have the country we've had for the last few hundred years without your guys' um, sacrifice and your guys' dedication to serving for the betterment of our country. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. And anyone who's out there as a vet, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, as well as everyone here at Coffin Comics. So just wanted to give a shout out and pay my respects to our vets. Um, real quick, before we get started, holy cannolis, you guys did it. Hellwitch surpassed 2,000 backers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, guys. This, this Hell Witch sacrilegious Kickstarter is doing really well, and we have just a little bit over two days. So over 48 hours left. Definitely check it out. Back us. See what we're all about. If you know someone that's interested in it, boom, come and join us. Carmen, good to see you. Thank you, Miguel. How are you today, everybody? God. I look forward to Wednesdays a little bit more than Mondays because Wednesdays it's noon time and I get a lot of you guys uh, joining us um, so it makes my day so Wednesdays almost like a Friday because <laughs> I get to hang out with you guys for 30 minutes of my day and I appreciate you guys hanging out with us here at the catacombs. A um, couple uh, things I wanted to announce is definitely thank you guys so much for uh, backing us for the Sacrilegious um, Kickstarter. It's doing gangbusters. And also, um, I wanted to kind of like help you guys out with, uh, for those who haven't done it yet, um, done some add-ons. So I want to show you guys some of the cool selections we have uh, here on Facebook, or uh, here on Kickstarter, that you guys can add on and check out. Look at that, oh my god, we did uh, so many additions. I mean, oh my gosh, our free bonus stuff is just growing. Those little bags are gonna bust at the seams because you guys just are going nuts on this campaign. Thank you, wow. 
You got the more little stays. Where are we at now? Um, the wooden nickel has been released. <sighs> the two inch comic cover pen. Dude, those look so sick. I love those. Uh, metal card upgrade um, for the 205K. I think we passed that. Oh, yep, there it is, to 10K. So guys, um, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, we love you guys and we so appreciate your backing us. But let's say um, someone has, you know, backed the campaign um, and they're kind of like, ah, I, I, I want to pick something else. I want to get another thing along with my premiere edition or my mega baller or high roller or even a digital uh, orders. Like, I want to add something. I, I, I'm really enjoying you know, the beautiful hollow foil cover I'm seeing. It's like, holy cow, that's so beautiful. I want to add this um, to uh, my pledge. How can I do this? How can I add this on for Coffin Comics? But hey, maybe you're into like the jeweled editions because those are really catching the eye. Well, this is the Muscay Jewel. This is a mock-up. This is a really beautiful book when it's done. I think you guys uh, really are going to be impressed with what we have coming out for you. But say you want to add on your Risque Jewel Edition. Or heck, maybe um, you just had some prints and you're like, wow, I want a Premiere Edition too so I can read this story and you know really get excited and get into it. Well, there's plenty of ways you can do that. There's a lot of different rewards that you can add on. Like we have um, stuff that's it's a premiere edition and the Mike Mayhew 11 by 17 print. It's a set, $39.99, really good price. This is what you'll get in that. It's a Mike Mayhew Legend 11 by 17 print, sacrilegious number one premiere edition. You get the free bonus items, free US shipping, free Brian Polito autograph and certificate of authenticity, optional. <laughs> Seeing how much he signs, a lot of people love it when Brian signs your books. There's another one, Sacrilegious Commemorative 11 by 17 point, uh, print, <laughs> points, uh, uh, and Premier Edition. There's only going to be $1.99 of this print. That's $44 for that set. Sacrilegious Risque Commemorative 11 by 17 print by Sun K, guys. This is a stunning collection, and it's only $44. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I hope I can, I can show that to you guys all right. But look at that set. This is the type of stuff you can add on. Or, you know, if you digital, you want to print in the premiere. Well, here's how you're going to do it. First things first. To start off, keep your main reward selection where it's at. Do not change your reward selection. You're only going to adjust your pledge amount. First step, send us a message either on Kickstarter or email us at inquiries at coffincomics.com uh, and let us know what you'd like to add on. Step two, we'll go ahead and get back to you to confirm, hey, we confirmed that your um, reply back, we confirmed that we see your add-ons. We would also be happy to assist you on how to add the funds to your pledge if needed. A lot of you guys have been doing it for us. It's made it so easy. It's one of the easiest Kickstarters Okay, granted, it's my only second one I've had to do this with, but it's been really easy. It's been a, a pleasure to work with you folks on this. It's just, it, it just helps a lot, but you don't have to do that. We can tell you, hey, here's the amount of funds you need to add to your pledge. We can do that for you. We don't mind. That's what we're there for. We're there to help you. Step three, you'll adjust your pledge amount and let us know. It's like, hey, I adjusted that pledge amount to where you needed it to be with the instructions. Thank you very much for sending those to me. Um, just message them and say, hey, you know what? Uh, I did the adjustments. I'm just here to confirm. And we'll reply back, great. It's that easy. And as we say here, it's easy peasy. It really is a lot of uh, a, a pleasure to be... Uh, Helping out on the back uh, Kickstarter end of things now. Um, it's great to see a lot of uh, helping out with the add-ons and the messaging. Uh, just meeting so many more people that are fans of ours from all over the world. And um, some of the names I, I recognize from orders I pulled in the past. So it, it's a lot of fun to be here and just experience uh, multiple sides of the business and the things we do here at Coffin Comics. Because we do have a lot of hats. Um, everyone pitches in and helps out, so it's great when I see familiar names. So for all those who are returning, thank you very much. And for all those who are 
backing their first Kickstarter. Thank you for backing Coffin Comics. We really appreciate it. So this is the Catacombs. Got a lot of fun little things. Maybe a couple. The, most of the stuff I have today are onesies. Um, once they're gone, that's it. Unless I find more additions. Um, so let's start things off. Let's get the holiday season going with Marat Michaels. This is the Unholy Ruin number one Creepy Crawler Holidays Edition. This, so far, is my last copy I have found. It is number 123 out of 50. What a lucky number. It's number 123 out of 150. Hey, I almost had a rhyme one there. Give me a few moments, maybe I'll come up with something groovy. Next up, another one that I absolutely love this image. It's one of our, uh, I think, our coolest um, Christmas images. This is the Lady Death Lingerie Infernal Holidays Metal Edition, number 33 of 35. This is it, just in time for the holidays. Look at that beautiful book. Look at that great image. Lady Death with a dead Rudolph. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let me bounce over to see what you guys are saying so I can see your comments. <clears throat> Pardon me. Bad Heartburn. Oh, Bob, it's good to hear you're doing better. Yes, um, <laughs> we have lots of uh, beautiful stuff. Thank you, Carmen. And it's, it's funny, Carmen, what I, it seems like I see you everywhere. Uh, anything that has to deal with Coffin Comics, somewhere, you know, Carmen's there popping her, pop her little up, saying, hey, hey, it's like, hey, Carmen's watching. You know, I say, I, we have a beautiful community of comic book collectors. All right, here's another popular one. This is Lady Death Lingerie. This is the Heaven and Hell set. This is a two big set. I believe this was available on the Malevolent Decimation. See, see, I can say it better now. Uh, Kickstarter, if I recall correctly. So that is my last one. I only have that copy left that I have found so far. Now we're getting down to the AP. And the VPs, my head is wobbly with the sombrero. Okay. Wow, I felt like now I know how a bottle head feels. All right. We have the Lady Death, Oblivion Kiss, Numero Uno. This is the Naughty Edition. This is an AP5. AP5. Gorgeous, beautiful artwork we show for you. What do you think of that one, Carmen? That's a really beautiful image. Josh Grimley, hey Josh! Yeah, what's up Josh, how are you today? Hey everybody. Carmen is the acid. <laughs> yup, yup. Carmen, you, you are, uh, actually all you guys bring something to the Coffin Comics family. Um, I mean, you, you, you each offer just bring so much to the table when it comes to supporting us and spreading the words. Oh my gosh, man, you guys were all on it for the Kickstarter today. Here's a classic. This is the mock-up test proof of the, our first metal cover. This was the Reckoning Metal Edition. This is a mock-up test version. It's the very first ones we made. Included the mock up COA. And I saw uh, someone was commenting earlier on the internet uh, about the eBay store. Well, I got in trouble. And it's funny because I took down all the naughty stuff, but apparently one little areola, and oh my god, and someone had to search through 435 listings to find that. So I hope they paid you well to do that. Sounds like you have too much time on your hands. But anyways, gonna be doing some changes. The eBay store will stay around. Just don't expect to see a lot of really beautiful, amazing things on there uh, like in the past. But we got ideas. There's still gonna be a lot of um, things for, offered to you guys on there and um, we'll slowly start taking down uh, the items and moving them to um, a better platform, I feel. Um, I do like eBay. I've met a lot of amazing customers and fans. Um, doing the eBay store. It's been a lot of fun for me to do, but they're doing a lot of changes 
And to be honest, it's I just don't think it's it's worth the, the headache and the frustration sometimes. But you know, all that great stuff I'm still gonna have out there for you guys, more than likely at the Coffee Comic Shop where it belongs, I feel frankly. So, anyways, um, that hope that answered your question. We got a seven day suspension. I still have people placing orders. Um, so every so often a few orders uh, get in. And thank you very much um, for the folks that have uh, been picking up a lot of the scratch and dent stuff uh, for readers and to pass on to friends. Um, that's really cool. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate uh, all your guys' um, business and messages. I love messaging and chatting with you guys. So thank you very much. Um, let's see, what else do we got going on? Another beautiful book, a classic, a big time classic. It's a Scott Lewis cover. So um, real quick, this is Lady Death Secrets, Cemetery Letter Edition C. This is a onesie. This is a classic, oldie but a goodie. Scott Lewis. I love how it just kept that really beautiful raw pencil sketch type image uh, on the cover. Gorgeous piece, would look amazing framed. Uh, on a beautiful display piece. Uh, I've seen some people's photos of um, their displays of the books uh, on the wall or in cases. And that's a beautiful work. They're on the site right now, Carmen. Uh, catacombs is where you will find all this stuff. The catacombs. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I really like um, Scott Lewis stuff. I even have a couple of his stuff he did with Chaos. Uh, on the eBay store. So I do have some of his uh, earlier stuff uh, with Brian. Um, I think uh, a couple of the Bad Kitty variants he did. Uh, you can find some of that stuff there too. Um, so definitely, uh, if you guys are Scott Lewis fans, there is some older books of his on our eBay store. So check it out whenever they take me out of suspension. I don't know. Anyways, next up, I got a mock-up. Mock-ups are in the house. For those who are wondering what the heck is a mock-up, well, a mock-up is exactly this, and this is taken from the back of our COA. Coffin Comics produces mock-up editions to market and promote upcoming editions to readers and collectors. They frequently have no interior printing, they are not the final product, and have been handled during promotions. Hence, they are prone to in, uh, imperfections. I was going to say impersonations, but uh, who am I, Al Lewis? What's the name of that old guy? Used to do all the impressions in the 70s and 80s. Whoever uh, says that, uh, answers that, thank you. Um, <clears throat> Mock-up editions, uh, which range in the number of one to four copies uh, per select edition, are assets of Coffin Comics until sold or gifted. Mock-up editions are offered in as-is as condition and will not be reprinted. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of this mock-up edition. Expect no imitation. So, this is the Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem Secret Edition. Beautiful, beautiful. Mock-ups, mock-ups, mock-ups. And these are neat because um, a lot of the, most of the mock-ups, like I say, um, in the COA, they're blank interiors. Um, so they'd be fun um, if you ever wanted to crack open your mock-up and get little sketches in it. That'd be kind of fun. I don't know uh, how the paper is inside for that thing, but I think it would be neat and something super unique um, for your collection if you choose to do that with a mock-up. I figure you bought it, it's yours, you should do whatever you want with that. And got a big one in here. I have the uh, Apocalyptic Abyss Legend Set. Frank Cho is the artist. It is a three set collection. Regular, handcrafted. <laughs> Damn, that's beautiful. That is a handcrafted cover. Wow, it's beautiful. And the black and white noir. So all three of these in this set, it's a three book set. This is a legend set. Only 50 were published. This is number four. Number four out of 50. So it's a nice low vault book. Check it out. Just uh, for that crazy collector in your uh, life who really loves, you know, Lady Death and Coffin Comics, well, 
Got a lot of good stuff for you here. All right, next up, this is gonna be uh, something you can find in your scratch and dent section. Um, these are the last copies I could find. Unfortunately, they're probably one of the most beautiful naughty covers I think we've ever did for the direct market. Um, and these are sold as is. This is the Merciless Onslaught Naughty Edition. Shannon Mayer in the house. This is stunning. This is a stunning, stunning book. This is a beautiful cover. Absolutely. I love this. I remember the first time I saw this, uh, I believe I was helping set up the boutique uh, last year for Swarmfest. And um, I absolutely thought this was a, a, one of the most beautiful covers I have seen. And I still agree. Shannon Mayer, thank you. You knocked it out of the park with this. This is a very beautiful image. Thank you so very much for the contribution. That you will find, guys, in the Nick and Dent section. Another one from the direct market. This is the last copies. These two are also, as is, I only have two of them, but it's done by the amazing Billy Tucci. So this is the Merciless Onslaught Scarlet Edition. This will be in the Scratch and Dent section. Another beautiful, beautiful cover by the one and only and the legendary Billy Tucci. Thank you, Billy, for your contributions for us in the past, in the present, and of course, in the future. Another fun items I have for you guys today. I figured you guys would love to see some Monty Moore, more, more, more remarks by Monty Moore. This is the cover up, 25 years of cover art by Monty Moore. You wanted more? I got you more, guys. Each one has its own unique remark by the multi-talented, I mean multi-talented, guys. Um, for those who are not familiar with Monty Moore's work, the dude does just about every type of style of art I have seen. He has done, um, I've seen pencil sketches, I've seen paintings, I've seen comic art, I've seen um, just about any type of style of art you can do as an artist. Monty Moore has done, and this is a really beautiful collection. I highly recommend it, and it's a unique item because it has a remark from Monty inside. Really nice, beautiful headpiece each one has. Um, I've got three of them right now. Uh, I have one left on eBay, and then that's it. That is all she wrote for that. Um, that's everything I have for you, the catacombs, but I wanted to let you guys know we've added more merchandise. Um, most of these items you could only get at the Coffin Comics uh, Boutique. Um, so now we are offering to you guys like our ever popular and our famous coffin sworn bone fingers. Bone finger. You can poke someone, it doesn't really hurt, but we got bone fingers. Show your love and your pride of all things coffin comics. When you, everything goes back to normal, you're going to these cons. There you go. Show them the horns in form fashion. Bone fashion. There you go. This is really fun. I was so excited we started. Uh, getting these in at HQ Q last year um, around for the uh, Swarm, uh, not Swarm Fest, Fiend Fest. Um, so, guys, really fun merchandise uh, added to the store. We even have stadium cups. They come in packs of four stadium cups. They are very good. As you saw uh, Monday, I like to drink uh, my beverages, my waters out of a stadium cup. And that coffin ah, makes it taste a little better. Here's my sales pitch for you. Also, another item we have too is our Coffin Comics pint glasses. I really enjoy at home having like a rum and coke or a nice beer in these pint glasses. I like to show my pride, I like to take a drink, and I 
love to drink it out of my Coffee Comics pint glass. These are available in the merchandise section at the Coffee Comics shop. But say uh, you like to live fast and hard and you like to really take it to a whole nother level. Well, let me recommend the Coffee Comics shot glass. I have used these many times at HQ with our bar during Kickstarters. I'm sure many of you have seen videos of me doing that. So anyways, join the fun with us. This is a set of four shot glasses, Coffin Comics merch section, and um, really nice thick glass. This isn't a cheap glass. Um, nice, beautiful logo on it. This is a really nice set of shot glasses. I highly recommend it. And what a better way to um, kick off or close a Kickstarter than having you guys, you know, have a shot with us, celebratory. You got your coffee con shot glass up, raised and ready for the opening and closing event. You can do a shot with us. But say, hey, you know, I don't really care for alcohol and whatnot, and that's totally cool too. We even got the coffee comics coffee mug. We drink out of ours here at the office two, three times a day. We always have to have coffee here at HQ, and we'd like to present with you our amazing coffee cup for your home brew at home, for your nice coffee, tea, or even hot chocolate. It's the season. And another thing we post on the uh, merchandise store is the con famous Coffin Comics Cowbell. Um, <laughs> I love it when we were in Phoenix Con and off in the distance, you could hear the cowbells going off for people ringing the cowbells and the occasional foam figures you see put up. So pick these up. When everything gets back to normal and we're doing shows, I expect to hear these at cons on YouTube all over the world. I expect to hear somewhere in the background a coffee comics cowbell on all those YouTube channels and the social media ones that cover cons. I want to see how many times I can hear one of these in the background. That is my challenge to all you who pick up the coffee comics. Cowbell. Because cowbells make everything a little better. So that's some of the stuff we've added. The Kickstarter, rocking it out, guys. Thank you so very much. It has been a very successful Kickstarter again, and we couldn't do it without you. Um, I just want to show you guys um, a couple things. There's only... About 48 hours left, two days, two days. You back us, we'll get you into the cauldron. Let's do a quick scan. Again, these are the mystery envelopes. These are all sold out, unfortunately. But there's still plenty of beautiful additions. The Mendoza 3-pack. If you're not familiar with Hell Witch, we have chapters 1 and 2 available uh, on our Kickstarter. So you can pick the backstory and get started on the ground floor and then we're offering chapter three Le uh, just over 50 hours are left in this campaign for hell witch sacrilegious and this is chapter three this is our premium cover beautiful and then we're going to be tipping in some of these beautiful black metal editions so this this type of stuff we just tip it in just just for backing us some of the metal card sets Folks, no need for delay. Back us today. <laughs> oh, really? Jay, you write more poems. I will read them out loud for you. And I will do my best to give it the most dramatic reading I can. Because uh, that Sworn Nation one you did, uh, the Sworn was amazing. So, folks, if you're uh, not familiar, Jay Taylor is one of the Sworn he is, uh, he wrote an amazing poem that I read last week, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what else uh, you got in mind for me to read. So that's going to do it. Everyone enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your week. Keep, uh, stay tuned, because you'll be seeing more of us today, and uh, as we get closer to the wrapping up the Hell Witch Kickstarter I'm Julian the Hooligan. Thank you so very much for joining me. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for 
all those people that took us up to the other level in the Hell Witch Kickstarter today. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you. Thank you all the vets on this Veterans Day. Please give a shout out to your family members that have served. Go out there. If you see someone out there that's a veteran that needs help, give them a helping hand. They helped us with our freedom. Help them out too. Thank you very much, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hasta la bye-bye.